The human genome includes all of the genes located in the cells of humans. Genes are sequences of DNA. That code for a certain protein. Each protein controls a chemical reaction or physical trait. The genes for each trait are located on the chromosomes on each person. Chromosome number one controls the same traits in you and in me. The same goes for chromosome numbers two and three. The X chromosomes control traits that make us female and some other traits. The Y chromosome codes only for male traits. The Human Genome Project used PCR machines like this one to make copies of genes. Genetic researchers from many different labs throughout the world work together in order to crack the human genetic code. Contributing researchers worked in universities and laboratories in the United States, Europe, and Asia. This collaboration was made possible due to the development of the Internet and rapidly evolving sequencing equipment. The human genome is all of the genes that are coded for by the DNA in the nucleus of each cell of the human body. These genes come in different forms called alleles. The gene for eye color is located in the same place in each person, but may code for a different color. There are also some conditions that result from genes not functioning properly. The Human Genome Project successfully located all of the genes on human chromosomes, so research can continue to identify factors that cause diseases. During the Human Genome Project, researchers built a map of every gene that exists in human cells. Using advanced technology, they put chunks of human chromosomes into E. coli cells. The bacteria storing the DNA were frozen. When specific regions of DNA were needed, they were thawed and cultured. The bacteria reproduced and made copies of the genes that were needed. As the bacteria reproduced, dyed nucleotides allowed the code to be read. The information that was gained from the Human Genome Project has many practical applications in medicine. Certain genetic disorders, like diabetes, can result from malfunctioning production of proteins which are coded for in DNA. Understanding how DNA differs from person to person may help to identify criminals. The Human Genome Project may have laid down the groundwork for more research that will help more people be safe and healthy. The Human Genome Project was an international collaboration. Many different labs contributed to the research. This means that over the 15 years of research, collaboration was made possible using computers and the Internet. The Human Genome is a map of all of the genes located on every chromosome in the human cells. These are located in the nucleus of each cell. Each gene codes for a particular protein which controls traits within a human body. The human genome contains all the genes that code for all of the traits that we have. Each of these genes may come in different forms which accounts for why all people have different traits. Each of these alleles is a different form of the gene. Some genes do not function properly as occurs with color blindness. The Human Genome Project has provided us with a map of all of the genes in the human genome. This is very useful when studying the transmission of genetic traits. The instructions for every human protein are located in the nucleus of the cell. The Human Genome Project succeeded in mapping all of these genes. To break the work into smaller pieces, certain regions of the genome were inserted into different groups of E. coli bacteria. When particular portions of the genome were needed, different groups of bacteria were thawed. This bacterium made copies of that portion of DNA, which was then sequenced. The Human Genome Project has gathered information which may help more people live healthy, safe lives. Those investigating a crime may be able to rule out or confirm suspects of a crime with a better understanding of our genetic makeup. Genetic disorders like hemophilia once required regular blood transfusions to fight symptoms. 
many forms of cancer are also linked to genetics. Using the information from the Human Genome Project may fight and cure these diseases.